Hello there everybody, it's Ira, it's me! It's me, Ira, the person who has made every single video on this channel. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, I'm here with another new indie game, this one is called This Merchant Life. Uh, and this is another situation where uh, an indie dev has reached out to me personally and asked me to take a look at the games being released today, the 6th of September, Friday the 6th of September. Uh, it, has, it has just left Early Access, so it's been out for a while in Early Access. Uh, I have not played it yet. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited. It looks pretty cool. The developer told me that it was inspired by games like Oregon Trail, Elite, Mountain Blade, 80 Days, and Sid Meier's Pirates, which is quite the combination of games, and I'm excited. I love the graphical style. Oh my goodness. Very rarely see a... Uh, uh, this looks to me like maybe Marmoset Hexel was perhaps used, or something similar in the creation of the graphics. Don't see this style very often, and I like it a lot. So, very cool. Um, Let's do what we always do. Let's look at the options, because we're all about accessibility and options and things. So we've got resolutions, full screen, uh, music and effects have separate controls, always good. There's an alternate HUD mode, okay. Uh, hero portrait type, standard alternate. Well, we only have one person, and it looks pretty male, which is alright, alright. That's so, you know, standard. Uh, card icon, standard, alternate, and classic. Well, let's just go with standard for these. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, or maybe, maybe, maybe I do get to choose a character. I don't know, we'll see. Auto fast travel, I don't know anything about- I'm probably gonna leave, probably gonna leave all these, uh, at their defaults, except I am gonna turn on a colorblind setup, because I don't know how many of my viewers are colorblind. I want you all to be able to follow along as well. Uh, hints, unlock, hints, HUD mode. All looks good to me. And controls, are they rebindable? Oh yes, they are. Excellent. Okay, so you can click a control to rebind it. Excellent. Um, that's all good from my perspective so far. Let's get into the game. I have not played this game yet. I want to know what it's all about. Empty slot. Begin. Game mode. Payback, campaign, or free play? Payback? Oh my goodness. Okay, your father has vanished and left you with his debts. Meet the growing monthly payments to eventually pay off this half a million coin obligation. Campaign. A vague and unhelpful message eventually results in our merchant becoming embroiled in a deadly conspiracy that threatens the very kingdom of Peregrine? Peregrine? Peregrine. Peregrine. Peregrine? Hmm. Interesting. And free play. Build your merchant empire your way without troublesome story or payback requirements. Cool. Well, let's go with campaign, because that was on by default. We'll put the tutorial on, because I have never played this, and I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my goodness, standard... Relax, standard demanding. So relax, this tax in your caravan will be rare. Should be able to focus on trading. Costs are reduced. Standard, balance of opportunity and danger. The per peregrinish word for danger also means opportunity. <laughs> this has led to so many unnecessary deaths caused by confusing signage. And demanding. Dangers of the road are multiplied. Everything costs more. Experts only very high. Well, let's go with standard. Let's go with standard. Confirm. Enter name. We can, uh... We can randomize one, but I'm gonna go with Ira. Head. Okay. We've got lots of options here. Let's see. I, I'm like quite short here. I've got quite short hair. I'm gonna try and make it look more or less like me. Maybe like that one. Torso. Okay. Alright. Well, I wear just t-shirts all the time. That coat looks pretty cool. This is how I wish I looked. Alright, legs. <laughs> so we've got trousers and skirts. Oh my. Let's go with jeans. Hat. Got some headbands on there. A couple of different hats. Gonna <laughs> wizard hang. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be stuck in character customization for a while. I'm sorry, friends. This is fun. This is kind of green trucker hat here, baseball cap. Um, I might go with with no hat. I'm gonna go head uncovered, like a savage. Okay, different types of pack. I like these backpack style ones. I'm gonna go with that one and misc. Okay, a fishing pole, walking stick. Oh, I could have a bird. Coin purse, we get a little bin bindle there. Staff, different kinds of staffs, I guess. Staves, not staffs. Come on, Ira. Better than that. Let's 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 do this here. Horse one and horse two names. Oh my goodness. Not a lot of names. It doesn't look like. <laughs> Keep getting the same ones over and over again. Gwendolyn. Let's go with Gwendolyn and Sir Horsingforth. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm having fun already. 
Oh my goodness, there's so much to the character creation. I wasn't expecting all this depth. Soldier, fighter bonus to combat, combat missions rewards, and mercenary recruitment. Sailor, I'm not gonna read all these out loud because my voice is gonna go if I do that. Stable hand, fast. Scholar, smart. <laughs> Smith, industrious. Crafting and building, oh my goodness. And seer, intuitive. Hmm. Maybe I'll go with stable hand. Bonus travel speed and horse upgrades. Cart wear from travel is reduced. Let's do that. I don't know what's good. I haven't done it yet. Gwendolyn, you're having a tutorial dream. It's not one of those hand-holding dreams you've been hearing so much about, though you just need to tick off all the tasks from the checklist to start. Press on Woodford. I'll presume that means click on Woodford. Look at all this information. Wow. I'm feeling a little bit intimidated. Let's just follow the tutorial. Hub, go to town hub. Okay, go to market. From the town hub screen, press the market tab. It's currently flashing. I'll take you to the market. Well, that's handy. Woodiest town this side of Oakville. Oh my goodness. I, I'm not going to be able to read all the text because I will just lose my voice completely. Okay, buy goods. From the market screen, press buy or buy all buttons alongside the timber icon. So I'm going to buy timber. Timber. Average cost, 24 to 26. All right, so this is this is a, a lower cost than usual. Okay, oh, that's cool that it shows you the the sort of average. So neat, it's expensive, fifty, mid range, iron, a little bit a little bit expensive, and ale, uh, very cheap. Why can't I buy ale? It's seventy one. It's normally seventy eight at the least. I want ale. Excuse me, tutorial. <laughs> Excuse me, tutorial. All right, bye. Bought some timber. Uh, how much timber did I buy? This column shows how many of each resource the town currently has. It shows how many resources you currently own. Okay, so I've got one. How much money do I have? Where's my cash? Oh, this is my. Oh, I got a lot of money. I'm rich. Huh? Huh? Oh, capacity. Okay, I can only carry 15. Can I buy? Can I move the tutorial? I can't move the tutorial. I'm afraid to close it because I'm afraid I won't be able to open it again. I want to buy ale. Like, I can't. Well, let me buy the ale. All right, fine. Close this. Travel to Randos. To travel, you need to go to the map screen. Close any town windows. Red cross me. I got that. Scroll the map screen to Randos. Scroll the map screen. Click and drag. WSD. Arrow keys. Arrow keys. Oh, not arrow keys. Wait, hold on. If I press escape, can I change the controls? No, I can't. Can't change the controls from here because the way I'm set up now, to use the arrow keys, I have to take my hand off the mouse. It's a little bit counterintuitive. Oh, I can scroll it by going to the edge. The problem with that, my friends, is that I have two monitors, so when I go off the right edge like that, it actually sticks my mouse on the other monitor. All right, Randos. Travel, 38 hours. We're in month month one. I'm trying. I want to try and get some 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 my, my bearings a little bit here. So reach level three. XP is earned through most merchanty action. Okay. Crash my health. This is what I got in my thing. Okay, I'm, I'm getting it. Target rating. The higher this number, the greater the chance the card is attacked. Oh! Increases with more goods and taking on missions. Decrease with the card conceal stat. Okay, good to know. So if this number goes up, I might get, I might get attacked by jerks. Cart condition, 100%. Weight penalty for each eight items you suffer a reduction of one from your cart speed. Okay. Oh, wow. We got stats. All right, let's go. Let's go to Randos. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, here we go. Yes, we made it. Nobody, nobody attacked us. Sell goods. Once you have arrived in Randos, go to the market. Yeah. And what did I pay for it? Does it show what I paid for it? Major demand. Oh, well, you can have all of it then. Average cost 24 to 26, and it was 38. Goodness. All right. From any town hub screen, press the flashing tavern tab. That's where you can hire guards to protect your caravan. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't have any guards, right? I'm just all on my lonesome with my two horses. And the horses are good horses, and they're very friendly, and I love them. But I don't think they're going to be a lot of help in a fight, especially since they're tied to the cart. So, okay. Press the hire button to add them to your security detail. We've got Severin the Old Soldier and Zenith the Brawler. Okay. This is how long they will remain after you hire them. Can that be put? Can that be increased in the future? 
If we if we if we're real nice to them and we buy ale and we let them drink the ale, for example. Inspired security bonus if in quadrant with hero. Presumably that's a combat thing. Deploy time. Um, presumably lower is better for deploy time. Health, defense, and security. So this one's got better defense. This one's got a bonus thingy and will stick around for longer. And is cheaper. Why are they cheaper? Severin, why are you cheaper than Zenith? What's the catch to you? Huh? What's your deal? Hmm. Maybe you just don't know your- Maybe you just don't know the value of your own time. That is possible. That happens a lot. Well, it's not up to me to, uh... To teach you that, so... Okay, Oh, I can zoom. Okay, take a mission. Flashing mission tab in the town hub screen. Take missions from the town. Alright, what do we got? Donate. It's not really donating. Well, maybe it is donating. You're not gonna pay me for it. <laughs> just a reputation reward, okay. Search. Find elderly peasants in Archon, Aten, or Ox Town. 16 days to complete. And they'll pay me some fat stacks of cash. Collect chest at Lancer, then return here. Okay. Take a mission. Hmm. Where where are these places? Hold on. We got Aten, Serenity, Mandrago. Archon is here. Oxtown's way down there. Back in here. So this is Ar Archon, Aten, or Oxtown. Aten is real close by. And the other one was in at Lancer. Where's Lancer? Lancer's way over there. Let's take let's take this first one. Search. Take the mission. Buy low, sell high seems easy enough. Gwendolyn. <laughs> what horse? Dangerous times. Oh, it's Peregrine, not Peregrine. Oh, there's a typo in that first screen. Oh, developer, are you watching? There was I found a typo right at the start. Bandits and worse on the roads. We need guards to protect us. Sir Horsing Forth, I love you so much, Sir Horsing, Horsing Forth. Gain a reputation in the towns, make some friends, allies, learn our way around. Pay off that starter loan. Loan? Oh dang. I don't know if I had a loan. Who do I have to pay? Let's get started. I'll buy some things cheap from the market here, then we'll travel to the neighboring town. Ha <laughs> ha! Did you get it, Gwendolyn? Did you get it? It was a horse pun. I said nay. Sir Horsing Forth gets it. Come on, I know you get it. <laughs> Reach level three. Welcome to the kingdom of Peregrine. You're ready to begin this merchant life. Your position in the kingdom is indicated by the red star. Red star. I think you mean the... Was it a red star? I think it was an icon now. We changed it to an icon. Or it was an icon... Anyway, I'll figure out where I am. Use the arrow keys to move the camera around the map or move the mouse to the edge of the screen. Rebind any key bindings in the main options menu accessible from the title screen. I wish it was accessible from inside the game because I don't want to have to save and quit just to change the key bindings to WASD. And I think WASD, having them bound by default, as well as the arrow keys, not a bad idea, developer. If you're if you're still taking feedback, even though the game is released now, would be very handy, and I think a lot of gamers would appreciate it. So you can use both hands to play, instead of having to move your hand back and forth. Left-click the town you're in, then the hub button. Yeah, I got that. Uh, Left-clicking any town directly linked to your current location brings up the option to travel there, if you have a trade permit. Oh, oh. Right now you have permits to travel anywhere in the forest and heartlands regions. That includes the capital at Archon. Right mouse click any settlement on the map to get general details on it. Okay, okay. So I've got a mission here, slash here, slash here, but I don't have a permit to go there. That's interesting, that's why those are red. Very, everything is distinctly typical right now in this region. Same thing here. Okay, um, so above average price. We've got, what is that, metal, maybe grapes, diamonds, and jewelry? What do we got here? Um, none of that stuff. <laughs> oh wait, iron, but they don't have any. Okay. So I guess... Probably nothing that I can buy here and sell there. I have average price here on... Meat. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna be able to remember. I'm gonna be going back and forth and back and forth. Um, let's just buy some stuff which is cheap here. So that's on the cheaper end, but not cheap. That's expensive. That is very, very cheap. So I might do that. Don't have iron. And the ale is quite expensive, so... Average cost 47. 31 here. Let's get as many as we can carry, so that's 15. And let's go. To Aten. 36 hours. Let's go. Goods become more expensive in a settlement the more you buy. Oh, wait, I was still reading that? Hey! Hey, excuse me, I was still reading that. God's own armory. Goodness. 
Day and night, the streets of Aten ring out with the sound of hammers hitting metal. The town's weaponsmiths are enormously productive and it's said that if you find yourself on the wrong end of a sword, it's more than likely originated in Aten. How that is supposed to make you feel any better is hard to say. They have an apothecary, okay. Oh, there's so much to learn here. Cut price, there's currently a surplus of this resource. Well, shall I sell? I have 15 of this, for which I paid a very low price and they have a pretty decent price. Let's sell all of it, get some cash money. And this is extremely cheap, so let's buy all that we can buy. Buy all that we can buy. Okay, now I'm on a mission to search. I'm searching for a miss missing person, right? What happens if I search? I click the thing. Did I find them? Did I do it? Am I a winner? Did anything happen? Does that mean they're not here? And I have to go to... No, the mission tag is gone. Wait. Did I find them and now I have to go back? Is that what just happened? I'm a little confused. My friends, I'm a little confused. Cart, horsepower. <laughs> I like that. Two horsepower, top speed 5.6 miles per hour. That is not fast. Um, I can upgrade stuff. Improved spokes. Structure, reinforced structure, can carry more goods. Horses level. Carrot-based motivation program will help spur your horse to greater deeds. I like it. Uh, should I upgrade something? It's not cheap. Or should I just repair what I have? It'll take an hour. I'd like to be able to carry more stuff. It's quite expensive, though. Uh, I'm, yeah, okay, so this is going to improve my speed and my... It's cap. Capacity. Is that right? Am I understanding this correctly? Defense, conch. Conch is caravan conceal, I see. So less likely to get attacked. Horses, it just increases your speed, which is why it's very cheap. Well, let's... Let's upgrade the horses. I like that I'm not replacing the horses. I'm just giving them more treats. Upgrade. Okay, you can get shoe upgrades to speed up even more. Let's maybe improve the spokes as well, so I can also increase my capacity. Okay, okay. And repair. Always good to keep things repaired, right? Oops, so now can I buy more of that stuff? I can. Ah, all right. I guess let's go back here and complete the mission, since that's apparently what I need to do. Go! Any minor trades our bonuses to reputation with- Ah, uh, it's not enough time to read the hints! Alright. Let's sell this. Uh, average cost 78 to 82. Yeah, I can sell that, because I bought that for, for super cheap. Yay, I'm rich again. Um, missions. Collect peasants at Aten, then return here. So did I complete my mission? Any missions you've accepted are collected here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the mission flag is gone. That was confusing, though. It doesn't give me, like, a, a pop-up telling me mission completed or mission uh, turned in or whatever, so... That could use a little bit of tweaking. Okay, grain. Expensive, expensive. Meat, kinda expensive. Hides, still quite cheap. No iron, and I was just selling that, so... Buy some of that, I guess, and take a new mission. Collect peasants at Aten, and then return here. Well, this is gonna be a pretty easy loop. Because that's right there. I was just there. I'm gonna go again, I guess. Card type with settlements, you can upgrade your card. Ah! <laughs> Forest shrine. Set back a little way from the road. Hard to make out among the trees is a small stone shrine. You can just about see some cool detailing in it. A tree-like pattern carved into the front. The top of the shrine is actually a basin filled with dark water. It appears to be a druidic forest shrine, said to be placed to key confluences of natural energy, whatever that means. So I can drink the water, which is, um, dark. Okay, water's not usually dark, so I'm not sure if that's good water or bad water. Leave some coins for the druids? I feel like druids maybe don't need the money. Maybe they get what they need from, from the forest? Hmm. I'm gonna drink. I'm doing it. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Dip the spatula. 
spatula, really? <laughs> into the basin shrine and lift it gingerly to your lips. The water tastes a little stale, not as bad as you might have feared. Still, you don't feel any different, and you don't plan to push your luck any further by drinking more. Turn a little disappointed to the caravan, but I got plus mysticism, whatever that means. I'm a mystic. Okay, collect mission. Travel bonus plus 20 XP. I guess I've done it. I guess when that goes away, I've done it. Uh, mark it. Average cost 47 to 53. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It's not a huge profit, but I made some profit. They still have some of this ale. Just a little bit. Took that. Um, oh, there's another page! Look at this! Average, that's very expensive. Wool. Herbs. Right. Um, should I buy this? What do herbs cost here? Below average price, so no. 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 Um. This is a little bit lower than average. Oh, wait, they had a huge demand for this over there, right? So let's take that as well. Sweet. Let's go back. Exploring the world. That's what we're doing. Sick wagon. You overtake a rickety old wagon being pulled by a single worn out looking donkey. There are several disheveled looking peasants walking alongside. You notice that lying in the wagon itself is an extremely pale middle aged man who has the unmistakable pallor of a seriously unwell. Peasants see you and explain hopefully that they are having to take the man, a father of four, to the twenty or so miles to the nearest healer. Take him with us or leave him. Let's take him. I'm gonna be nice. I'm a nice person. Plus three reputation and plus compassion. You don't have the medicine, take the man in your cart. You'll get there first. They can come get him later. Am I nice or what, folks? I'm pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, so is the mission complete now? I guess. Did I get a reward for it? I'm not sure. Presumably I did? Oh no! Oh, they don't need the timber anymore. Now I got all this dang timber that I don't need. And it's actually cheaper here than where I bought it. And the ale is super cheap as well. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Well. Well. I'm just gonna leave that stuff there then. Um, missions. <clears throat> Escort to Woodford. Where is Woodford before I agree to this? Um, where is Woodford? I'm gonna be very gentle going to this end of the screen, or I lose my mouse to the other monitor. Oh, Woodford is back here. That's where I started from. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, sure. I'll ex escort someone to Woodford. Donate two wheat, two wood, and one meat. Can I just buy them here? Grain. I have this. I've got 14 of these. So I could just buy them here. <laughs> I'm doing it. One, two, two, and one of these. <laughs> now I can complete this mission. <laughs> Yay! I did it. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, let's go here. Mission! Travel. Oh, I gotta keep an eye on my car. My car's doing all right. It's doing fine. Okay. Um, explore. Small border town near a holdback forest, sleepy rural community, home and reputation, blah blah blah. I might explore. Um, did the mission complete? I think so. It's hard it's hard to tell, honestly. Um Wood is cheap here as well. Nobody wants wood anymore. Wood is wood is out. Um yeah, let's explore, sure. Why not? Let's explore, why not? Woodford is a comforting, embrace in settlement form, a reassuring old friend of a town. Not much ever happens here, and sometimes that's worth appreciating. Combination of timber houses, statues, and the yearly invocation of flame festival are worrying and perhaps poorly thought through combination. <laughs> but otherwise, it feels about as safe as Peregrine gets. Okay. Public garden. Looks enticingly peaceful. Cloaked figure you sense you know this mysterious person. Mm hmm. Floating bread. Doesn't seem like a thing that bread should be doing. Really? I think bread floats pretty well. I'm gonna go to the garden. Mirroring the town itself. Public gardens are restrained, but quietly, unobtrusively pleasing. Okay, flowers, benches, trees. Trees each represent a town or city in Peregrine. Oh, nice. Gray-haired, mustachioed man pottering about. The caretaker of this place, utterly at peace. Trainer unlocked. Intel found. Desert temple. Goodness. There's so much depth here. 
I'm not gonna be able to do this justice with a single video. I'm already, well, I'm, almost, I'm already like almost 20, 25 minutes in here. I haven't even seen combat. How about missions? Click letter at arrow. Escort to Oxtown. Can I go to these places? I can't. Oh no, I can! Arrow and Oxtown. All right, let's take. Let's take. Let's take both of these missions. Ten days, sixteen days. I can do it. I'm not even gonna worry about trading. I don't think. Should I worry about trading? Maybe I'll worry about trading if I can find something cheap. Uh, that's expensive. That's quite cheap. That's not cheap. That is extremely cheap. I don't know, it says 78 to 82, but it's been about that price everywhere I've gone so far. Herbs, extremely cheap as well. Fruit, not cheap. Well, they don't have. Um, let's go for these. No. No, let's go for the ale. Give me the ale. I desire the ale. Okay. Caravan. Oh, look at that, it's me. Me, look how good looking I am. Okay. Caravan, yeah, 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 um, oh, I can't, I can't take care of my cart here. Okay, let's get going then. We need to get, we need to get a moving. I got a lot of stuff to do. Escort. Uh, I have to refuse politely because I, why, why can't I help them? I don't know why. Do I just not have room for them? I'm so sorry, folks. I really am sorry. Oh, I lost compassion. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Would have helped you if I could have. But for some reason, I could not. And I don't know the reason for that. I'm gonna repair my cart here. Uh, market. What can we sell? No, not that. Yes. Yes, they have a huge demand for ale. Of course they do. Who doesn't? Everyone always needs ale. And they have a surplus of wood. Wool. Wool, not wood. Bye. I got all this dang timber. I need to offload this timber as soon as I can. It's taking up all of my, uh, my space here. Should I upgrade my cart? Make it go faster? Upgrade the horses again? Yeah, let's upgrade the horses. With shoe upgrades. Oh, look at it, it even changes the image. I didn't even notice that. Lovely. Have I increased my capacity at all? I have not. All right, let's get a move on then. We have a long ways to go. Not entirely sure. If I can uh, make it all the way there and back within the time limit. Travel bonus. I don't know what that travel bonus is. Market. Oh, uh, they have too much timber. No, I need to find some place that doesn't have enough timber. Understand? Uh, I think I'll sell this wool. Let's, let's sell the wool. That's a pretty, pretty good, good price, right? Um... Oh, look at that. I just noticed that there's color coding on this. My friends, you probably noticed it ages ago, but I did not. It's not showing the average price for ale. Is it a bug? I don't know. Hides are pretty good. Should I just load up on more timber, like a fool? I don't think I will. Let's go with hides. Give me the hides. And then onward. Places to go. People to see. Missions to complete. Um, I cannot take any more missions, so let's just quickly... No, no. I want red, right? I want red for selling. So let's just keep on a moving, because I'm running low on time. Travel to Archon. Run, run, run. Go, go, go. A fallen giant. As soon as you round the corner in the road and are faced with a large tree blocking the way ahead, everyone in the caravan leaps into action, surrounding it in a protective circle. You wait for the inevitable ambush, <gasps> but it never arrives. Normally a fallen tree across the road means an ambush, but occasionally it just means there was a lightning storm or gale recently. There's enough room on the side of the road to move the caravan around this toppled giant, but you could also stop to collect wood from some of the large branches. Now I can't because I don't have any space. See, it's all, it's all used up. Move around the tree. Keep it going. Spectacular. Uh, mark it. Yes! I can finally sell all this timber. Spectacular. Okay, uh, what else is green? This is green. This is green. That's very green. Any exclamation marks? No. Let's just buy some ale. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, maybe do a quick cart repair. Yeah. And then I think I'll be on my way. I really wanna- I really wanna complete one more mission. We gotta go here, we gotta go here, and then I gotta go back. All the way back. Collect mission. Okay, got these people. Um, do you folks want to buy anything from me? No. All right. 
On to Oxtown. <laughs> we don't have time to explore. Malady! <gasps> oh no, quite suddenly you're struck with a pain in your throat. Just progressively worse. Oh, that's no good. Then a headache, sweats, and shivering follow. Oh no, coming down with a malady, which is even more inconvenient on the road. Pull the cart over to the side of the road to decide your next move. Either rest for four hours or continue on. I'm not far from where I'm going. Mm, I don't have much time. I'm injured. Plus determination. It's not that far to get there. There we are. First visit bonus. Mission failed! <gasps> oh no! Why? Did I take too long? I must have taken too long. I've got to get back to Woodford. I only got six days. Shucks. Alright, well, came here for nothing. Let's see if I can get back in time to complete this. Oh, the good slow me down. That's a good point. I should I should try to sell this stuff off and go back with an empty wagon, shouldn't I? Tavern. Do I still have um skills? Oh, I have upgrade. Oh my goodness. There's upgrade points and everything. Short-term cart stat boost lasts twice as long. Plus to consume it with no caravan cards. <laughs> Cheese it. Red line. Hmm. I like this. Oh no, because then... Hmm. Let's... Can I buy this? How do I buy it? Or do I have to start with this one? Oh, okay. Panic stations. Oh, okay. These are all different categories. Deployment time of start of battle increased by two. Um, so maybe a higher number of deployment time is better. Maybe I had that. Maybe I misunderstood that. Plus one higher slot. Reduction to higher costs. Good reputation. 25% more available to buy. Caravan capacity. Let's go with leadership. Okay, I've used my points. Security. Alright, so have I lost my, my person now? Should I buy another one? Should I buy another human? Archibald, Laura, and Hector. Might go for Laura. Just cause... Laura's got the worst stats though. Hmm. Hector. Hector seems to have the best stats. Let's hire Hector. Hector, you're coming with us. Yeah, there we go. Alright, um... I need to sell some stuff. I need to lighten up this car. I forgot. I forgot that... Oh, dang it! Everything... <sighs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. In my planning. Mm. Missions. I got four days. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it, am I? I'm not. I'm gonna fail my mission. Dang it! I should sell all my stuff regardless. To the victors. Quartet wandering happily down the road lane with loot and congratulating each other flamboyantly. Yes, this is indeed a party of adventurers. Turning from a death-defying quest. Dangerously low on supplies. That means drinking supplies. Here, take this ale! <laughs> Everybody's happy. Short pause. A cat! Aw, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna make it anyway. Let's be honest. Let's be serious, my friends. Let's be honest with ourselves. I'm not gonna make it. I will wait. I lost determination, increased mysticism. Well, that's fair. It is a cat. Hmm. Continue. Okay, missions. I've got one day. <laughs> oh, I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen, friends. I don't think. Yeah, even if I unload everything, I'm not gonna make it. Let's head in that direction anyway. Furry torment. I can't keep reading, my friends. I'm sorry. There's noises in the bushes. There's something in the trees. A score of squirrels ripping things off. Oh, I'm gonna scare them off. Oh, my cart condition. Nah, my mission's failed. Well, my friends, this hasn't been the most successful first try, but it was just a first try, and this game is pretty good. I have to, I have to say, I hadn't, I hadn't heard of this one until the developer got in touch with me. Um, but this is, this is really cool, and I am very impressed with the amount of depth in it, and I really just want to keep playing. Um, I can't keep recording, because otherwise this video will be too long, and it will take me the next several days to upload it. So, I'm gonna have to stop here, my friends. 
Um, but This Merchant Life is now available full release on Steam. There will be a link in the description if you are interested. Go and check it out. It's very cool, and um, if the developer is watching, hey, good job. This is a fun game, and I'm going to keep playing this game. Uh, great. Now, of course, uh, this game is not going to be for everybody because no game is for everybody. And if this game is not for you, it is just your, not your cup of tea, then don't worry, my friends, because I'll be back soon with another new little indie game. And that one, well, you never know. It might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thanks so much for watching, my friends, and I'll see you next time.